Hey, what's up, Musers? This is John at muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to go over the new update to the multi level drop down menu widget found at museforyoushop.com. Um, so here uh, we have the change log, and here's what's been updated. Um, there's the ability to add an image for the open button, there's the ability to add an image for the open button active state, the ability to change the width and height of the open button, ability to have the open button be a different color than the menu the ability to change the border radius of the open button, ability to change the thickness of the stripes, there's a new widget setup and the the issue with the widget getting taller in height on Windows computers has been fixed. Um, so those are the updates and uh, to get access to this widget you simply go to museforyoushop.com and here you can click on the pop-up and here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year or if you'd like to subscribe with PayPal you can click here and subscribe with PayPal um, and down here we have the multi-level drop-down menu widget and here you can click add to cart to purchase individually or again you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year and the Muse Morph is on its own separate page now, so if you did want to see that, you could click here and see the Muse Morph uh, widget there. Um, so I'll go ahead and get started uh, showcasing the new update. So I'll go into my library panel in Adobe Muse. Uh, if you don't see the library panel, you can go to Window and click on Library. And here I'll type in MLDDM, which is short for Multi-Level Dropdown Menu Widget. And here I'll click Hold and Drag and place onto my Adobe Muse website. And I'll place it right here. So I'm not going to go over um, how to use the entire widget or the submenus because I went over that in the first video. I'll just go over the new updates for this widget. Um, so here in the widget we can see it looks a little bit different. Um, we have a few different sections, uh, but the main thing that's different is the open button section. So here I can make the open button uh, larger in width and height. I can change the border radius, so if I say 100, I can make it a complete circle. And then here I can change the stripe distance from the top so that the stripes are more centered. So I'll say something like 37. Uh, so it's more centered there. And if I preview in the browser, we can see how this looks. And I click the drop down, we can see that the, the button's a larger circle with the stripes there. Um, I can change the stripes uh, thickness. So if I say 2, the stripes are thinner. Um, but one of the kind of major updates is the ability to add an image for the um, the open button. So if I click here on add file, I have a few uh, a few icons that I downloaded from flaticon.com. So here I'll click on this icon. And then for the active uh, image, I'll click uh, on a different icon here. And for the stripe thickness, I'll say zero so we don't see the stripes um, for the icon. So there's the open menu button. So if I preview in the browser and I click on it, we can see it there. So one thing we notice is that it has the background image. So if we want to make the background transparent, we could just make it transparent here within the color by clicking the square with the line through it and the same here. So if it doesn't have an if it does have an image, you can make it transparent or add a uh, background color or if it's a background color, um, you can just make it a background color and then remove the image here. So if I preview again in the browser, we now have the icon. When you click on it, it changes to the active state icon. So there's the the the, um, the open button image and the open button active image. Um, and if you want it to change on hover, you could click here on enable state change on hover. And when you hover your mouse over it, it'll change uh, change state. So there we can see it changes the the different state of the the button image when you hover over it. And if I click, there we have the menu. So you can have it change on hover or just change when the the button uh, gets clicked on. So we can see here I'm hovering, and if I click on it, it turns into the active state icon. There we go, and I can change the size again. Let's say I wanted to make it smaller. I could go back in here and say 50 by 50, and there we have the icon a little bit smaller. And if I click, there it is. Looks good. So I got those icons from flaticon.com, and uh, I just searched for menu icons like this, and a few popped up here. Uh, with Flaticon, they do ask that you credit them on the website. So if you do have the icon, you can put it somewhere, you know, on the bottom or, or however you want to credit them. Um, or you could use any other icons as well. You don't have to use flat icon uh, icons um, here. Uh, so there we go. Um, the open button is very customizable. You can have an image for the open button. You can change the colors. If I did want a background color, I could just add a color there. Or if I just if I didn't want any images, I could just 
have the background colors and change the background color and the background active state and then I can bring back the stripes in by saying giving it a stripe thickness here so there we go and we want to change the um, the, the distance from the top as well here so I'll say something like 12 and there we go we have the button with the stripes oops and yep looks good so I'd probably bring it down a little bit more so maybe like 10 or 11 or bring it down yeah there we go so 14 um, so I think I've gone over everything and for the image you can have it cover or contain contain will just contain the whole image within the, the area provided cover will try to fill the entire uh, image inside the button um, so that's it for the video tutorial. I know I went over it fairly quickly, but I just wanted to kind of showcase the new update. And here I added a reference. It says here, if no image is added for the open button, the background color will be used instead. If an image is added, the background color can be set to transparent and the stripes thickness to set to zero. So that's kind of what I went over. If you do have an image, you can set the stripe thickness to zero uh, to not show the stripes and then you can add the icons here. So we have the normal state and the active state icons. And if there's a color, there'll be a color behind the icons. So I do have a background color. So when I click, we can see that the background that the icons have a background color. And then we have the menu here. Uh, so I think that's it for this video tutorial. Um, those were the updates to the, the multi-level drop-down menu. Um, it's now multi-level drop-down menu 1.1. Yeah, and if I wanted to change the, the text, I could go and click on the, the widget here and I could change it to any text here from the text option here in, in Adobe Muse. Um, and I could change the size of the text. I could say something like um, 32 and just really style the menu with you know a customized menu button and customize the menu as well with the font. And I could change the menu color in here as well. Uh, but I did go over all of that in the first video tutorial. Um, so if you did want to see how to kind of do all those or kind of customize the menu, you can check that video out. Um, this video is mostly on the open button, the new options for the open button. Um, so that's it for this video tutorial. Again, uh, if you'd like to access this widget, you can go to museforyoushop.com and here you can click on the pop-up. And here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. Or if you'd like to subscribe with PayPal, you can click here and subscribe with PayPal. Uh, if you'd like to purchase the widget individually, you can click here. And here you can click add to cart to purchase individually. Or again, you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. And if you did want to see the Muse Morph, it, it's now on its own separate page. Um, you can click here. Uh, to see the Muse Morph widget. So it's it's its own standalone widget on its own uh, page there. Uh, so that's it for this video tutorial. Uh, again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.